Hey guys, so today we're going to talk a little bit about toning hair. Now this is something I've read a lot about um, on the internet. I see a lot of questions about people asking uh, how to tone hair, um, how to tone bleached hair. So we're going to go through that a bit today. Um, it's going to be quite a short video. I'm going to try and keep it short, but at the same time I want to try and put like quite a lot of information in there. Um, so basically, recently I just dyed my hair. I was a bit bored. I hated it. So uh, I've bleached bathed it um, and I've just got completely bleached hair now. Um, so I'm going to use that as an example and show you how to work that out. Now, if you look at my hair, it's awful. Uh, it's it's just bleach, um, and it's there's a lot of orange in there and such like that. A lot of orange, a lot of yellow, and it's just a dead sort of bleachy colour, and that's not particularly attractive. Um, so what I want to do is I want to tone it. I want to get rid of some of the orange. I want to uh, make it more of a natural colour. Um, so to do that, I'm going to use a uh, quasi colour. Now, the colour that I use is Goldwell. Um, that's just because I train with it. Um, but you can use any colour, and this, what I'm going to explain now, applies across any colour that you want. You can do it with colour mousse. You can do it with uh, a, a semi colour, uh, like a semi uh, permanent colour. You can do it with permanent colour. It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. Um, it all applies across all of that. Um, but. I'll show you why I use Goldwell and I'll show you why it's quite handy if you can get it, whilst, uh, how it will make this a lot easier. Okay, so first of all we need to talk a little bit about colour theory. Now if you take a look at the colour wheel, uh, you see on the uh, right hand side you've got yellow, orange and red, on the left hand side you've got green, blue and purple. Um, now that applies, um, it, it says you've got warm colours on the right and cold, cool colours on the left. Um, but what we can do is um, we can use these colours to cancel each other out. So the colour that's opposite the other colour, so for example in this picture the blue uh, is opposite the orange, if we use a colour that's based in blue it will cancel out colours that are orange. So when you're looking to tone out that's what you want to be looking to do. You need to be looking at the blues, the purples and the greens to get rid of the reds, the oranges and the yellows. Now if you wanted um, to, uh, for example, get rid of reds and you want a little bit more green, which is uh, looking at ash sort of colours. If you wanted to get rid of the yellowness and make a very sort of pure white colour, then you'll want to be looking at violets uh, and pearls. And if you want to get rid of the orangey colour, um, like brassiness, then you're looking at kind of uh, silvers um, and platinums and uh, maybe pearls, things like that. So for me today, my hair's it's a bit orangey, it's a bit yellow, so I've gone for a 10BS, which is a beige silver. Um, now, if I show you where that lies, um, the reason I use Goldwell and the reason that's really great, um, apart from the fact that I just trained with it, is it has this colour wheel. Now if we look at the colour wheel here, you can see 10BS is what I'm going to use, and that's here. Uh, and that's directly orange. Uh, uh, see that Goldwell they place every single colour they make onto the colour wheel so there's no guesswork as to what colour is the base colour that you're going to be using. So here I can see that 10 is it's right in the middle of the blue, it's directly opposite the orange, it's going to get rid of or neutralise, we call, uh, it's going to neutralise any orange in my hair. So that's what we're going to use today. And that's why I find Goldwell quite good to use, just because the way they use that colour wheel and the way they place each colour on the colour wheel and you can see. So you can pick a tone that you like, but you can also, it's very easy to uh, work out how to neutralise other tones just by looking at the colour wheel. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'll show you. Um, it's worth mentioning that the thing I, the, that I just explained about the colour wheel there, about the neutralising colours, um, that applies when you're doing any colour, not just toning. Um, so it's a kind of beyond the scope of this video today going into other colouring but it's worth bearing in mind that that, that, that theory um, it, it works across all colours uh, when you're doing any colour so anyway I'm going to go and tone it um, and then I'll show you the differences um, and I'll it also explain how I did it okay so I finished toning my hair um, and uh, as you can see most of the orange is kind of gone it's gone a bit of a smokier kind of beige colour um, and it's sort of uh, more a colour as opposed to just a bleach. Um, I'm not really sure I'm happy with it. I could probably tone it again. Um, I, I don't really know uh, what I'm doing with it, to be honest. Um, but what you'll find with uh, toning is um, when you put it in, so let me describe how you do it. So basically, you just, uh, all you're doing is you're just putting colour on your hair um, and you're, you have to watch it by eye. So it's um, a process where you just watch it and see how the colour changes because it appears 
you're always adding colour, but when you're toning it, because you're neutralising it first, it appears that if you imagine uh, this, uh, at first you're sort of uh, removing colour, where so for example in this case I was kind of removing the orange, and then you, the orange is kind of neutralised, and then you start adding colour. Um, of course you're always adding colour, but that's the way it sort of appears, where you, you're kind of removing and then it's neutralised, and then you're adding. And you'll see that especially if you've got kind of yellow uh, highlights, or, or and you want to make them kind of pure white, and you're using a violet or a purple. And then you'll see it, it'll go sort of whiter, 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 and then it'll be white for a while. And if you leave it just too long, it'll start turning the hair purple. Um, and, and that's where you can see it really obviously. Um, so what you want to do is you, you put the colour in and then you just watch it. And you watch to see your hair change. And as the hair changes, um, this can take sometimes, it can take two minutes. Um, sometimes it can take 10 or 15 or 20. Um, but it really depends what you want to do. So it's very... Um, uh, in, uh, uh, it's up to you really, you, 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 you're sort of watching, it's not sort of put the colour in, leave it for 30 minutes, wash it out and see what you've got. It's, it's really a sort of um, organic process where you're watching it and keeping an eye and hoping uh, and making sure all the time that um, you're kind of on, on it and you can see what colour it is. So basically, if you do it, you can do it with a mousse, you can do it with a, a, a semi-permanent, you can do it with a permanent colour. I, so I use uh, uh, quasi-permanent uh, and I use um, Goldwell. Um, but you can, and I know there was Goldwell stuff in before, but I mean, you can do it with Weller, Schwarzkopf, whatever you like, um, you know, Colliston, anything. Um, I'm, I'm certainly not like plugging Goldwell here, it's just what I use. Um, but you can use it with anything, and basically you mix it up, you put it on your hair, you, you apply it fast because, um, especially with like freshly bleached hair, it can be quite porous and it can start gripping that colour quite quick. So you apply it as quick as possible, you just get it on your head um, as soon as possible to get an evening coverage. Um, and then once you've got that, you've applied it, you just watch it, and then uh, after, say, a certain amount of time, when it, just from watching it, usually it could be two minutes, it could be ten, just keep an eye on it. Um, when you see it change to the sort of colour that you want, then you wash it out, and then and that's toning basically. That's really it. Okay, so that's quite a lot we've talked about today in quite a short space of time. I appreciate um, it's quite a simple subject, but it can like it's strange because it's a simple thing to do, but it's uh, it, it gets quite in depth when you start talking about colour theory. Um, so I appreciate it's quite difficult uh, um, sort of squashing it into a small video. Um, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, I've got a blog at uh, lemonsodahair.com um, and if you go there, you can find my email address, you can contact me. I answer emails as soon as I get them um, and I'm happy to answer any questions about hair really and if, especially like Tony, if you've got any questions, um, I can give you a much sort of, uh, sort of in more in-depth answer uh, specific to your query if you've got one. Um, so feel free to ask in the comments or say get a hold of me at my blog or I'm on Twitter at Lemon Slider Hair. Um, so yeah, just if any questions get in touch and thanks for watching um, and please subscribe. Cheers.